Hi, this is Nate with IT Guys, and today I'm going to teach you about the computer management utility inside Windows 10. Goody. Basically what all the things mean, what they do, and how to utilize it to get the best performance out of your computer. To find the computer management utility, go ahead and click on the file icon in your taskbar. Right click on this PC and click manage to get to the computer management. You can also click on the start button and just type in computer management. Click on the icon to open up the computer management console. Or you can click on the start button, type in this PC, right click on this PC, and go to computer management. It doesn't really matter how you get there, just as long as you get there. Next, we're going to take a look at the Computer Management Console more closely. Now, there's a bunch of different features and tools inside Computer Management that are really useful for a lot of different things. The Event Viewer we've covered in another video at length, so if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that video. It teaches you how to read administrative events, what they all, what, and generally what the things to look out for are. So close that for now. Today we're going to look at the Device Manager, which shows you all the hardware inside of your computer and whether or not the drivers have been installed. Drivers are the software portion that make the hardware pieces work. And in this list here, if there's something that has a red X or a yellow triangle on it, like this device here, we know that there's a problem with this device. Now, usually when you install Windows, Windows has a bunch of built-in drivers that make a lot of these hardware pieces work. In this case, we can't really use whatever driver is on there. We're going to have to search the hard way. In the properties of this unknown device, we have several tabs at the top. If you go ahead and click on the Details tab, and then under the property that we're looking for, select the drop-down menu and highlight Hardware ID, we can get the hardware ID of this device. Go ahead and right-click on it, hit Copy, and then we're going to Google that information for the vendor number and device ID to get the correct driver to make this unknown device work. Go ahead and open an internet browser and use google.com to find the identity of the device that you're looking for. The very first result that we have here is the hardware that we're looking for. Go ahead and click on the very first result and let's find out what it says. It's a hardware radio device that we need a driver for. I know that we're on Windows 10 so I can select the driver for Windows 10 and run it. Go ahead and hit next. I accept the agreement. And you just want to basically next, next, next through all these menus. It's going to go ahead and install that driver for you. Go ahead and next, next, next through all these menus. Let's check out to see if that radio driver is installed by going back to the computer management console. And it is! Yes! Radio driver, whatever that does. This is also a place where if you wanted to update some faulty functioning hardware, let's say you're display wasn't working correctly, you can open up the uh, display menu, right click on the option and update the driver and search for the update automatically. Every now and again Windows releases updates for certain hardware and it can find it sometimes but you have to manually install it. In this case where everything looks good to go so we're just going to move on to the next step by closing this window and going back to the regular computer management system. Next on the list we're going to check out disk management now disk management is where you would basically manage all of your disks. Um, so there's only two disks installed at this time. We have disk zero, which is our main internal hard drive. It's got two partitions in it, system reserved and C. The other disk there is just the CD-ROM uh, drive. And this is where you would run a check disk if the hardware wasn't working properly, or format a disk if you inserted a USB key that you wanted to format in a certain way. Um, there's nothing we really need to do here at the moment. Everything looks good and healthy. And that's pretty much it. There's not really a whole lot to know with computer management other than those three options. Event viewer, disk management, and device manager. Happy computing!